Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I got my Mini 2. It is uh, all charged up. I got the remote, which is still quite uncomfortable to carry. Going out in the middle of nowhere. I'm uh, gonna send it flying and test it out. I'm also gonna record the screen. Oh, check out. Never seen this bird before. That's a beautiful tiny bird. It's green. Oh, it's a green woodpecker. That's what it is. Where is it? There it is. It's a green woodpecker. You don't see these every day. Sweet. I'm gonna get closer to it. It's gonna fly away. Oh, there it goes. Uh, uh, uh. That was a green woodpecker ladies and gentlemen so yeah i'm gonna fly it actually gonna fly it from that beach over there and uh get the neighboring property so hopefully it's gonna be a good flight no mistakes no errors and hopefully i'm not gonna crash my <laughs> my new drone which i'm probably gonna send off to the ukrainian army here in a few days Actually, I'm gonna fly it from cover. I'm gonna take off right here. Uh, I'm not gonna go straight up because that's like 30 meters. I'm gonna go across and then I'm gonna go straight up. Although I don't know yet, I may go straight up. We'll see in a moment. Okay, so remote is connected. Time to turn on the drone. And actually see how fast it connects. I didn't even turn it on. There it goes. Remote is actively searching for the drone. There it goes, DJI Mini 2. 100% charged. I want to set it to 4K. How do I change? See, this is why I don't like the app. How would I change the resolution? Quick shed notes. Hmm. So let's go into the menu. Only seven satellites right now, max altitude 500 meters, max distance, no limit, return to home. I want to set it to... The home point has been updated. 60, Please check it on the map. 66 meters. Uh, update home point, no. Columbrate compass, no, no. Battery info, let's see if the guy didn't lie to me. He did lie to me. He said, oh, it has maximum like 10 flights on it. 26 times the battery has been charged. Liar. Uh, I hate people like that. I don't need to unlock any zones. Advanced safety settings. Uh, let's see. Payload mode, no. Signal lost, return to home. That is correct. Okay. Control. Metric. Front. I'm not going to do about the front thing. Allow gimbal upward rotation, yes, I want that. Follow mode, gimbal calibration, I don't need. Advanced gimbal settings, uh, pitch speed, pitch smoothness. Let's do everything 15. Yaw speed, yaw smoothness. Let's do 30. Pitch speed. Oh, actually, I'm not gonna take touch scene. Sport mode. Still want it to be somewhat smooth. And that's that. Camera. Video subtitles, don't need it. Histogram, I don't want it. SD card. Ooh, there's something on SD card. The dude forgot to remove his files. Uh, sync HD photos, cache when recording, 16 gigabytes max, transmission, let's do dual band, I don't care about, 
Okay, so, man, I forget. Let's look at the videos. I took that picture. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna have to take a look at this. The guy forgot to erase his SD card. <laughs> oh, I love it. I like when people do that. So it's all good. I'm gonna take a look at th those later. Okay. Does this work? Yeah, the zoom works. Sweet. Oh, here's where you choose. You have to click on the bottom and this is where you choose the res. I'll actually keep it at 4K30. EV is good. Everything is good. Oh, that's pro. I'll do that later. Okay, so let's take off and let's see what this bird can do. Now, should I record? Take off. Oh, actually. I want to take off like this. Take off. The home port wow. has been updated. Please check Seriously? it on the map. This drone is so quiet. Okay. Let's record in 4K and let's go. It's really sensitive. Oh, I forgot. I don't want to fly that high. I don't want to fly it because there's a dampener around these parts. Wow, it's very sensitive. And I'm not even in sport mode. Very, very sensitive. Like, I pull it a little bit to the left and it behaves as it would in AT mode. It continues moving. See, I drop the stick and it still continues moving. But it's very quiet. Like right now, I'm literally 100 meters away and I cannot hear the drone. Uh, I don't want to fly over the lake. It's a test flight. Oh, at the same time, we're testing uh, the flight time. I wonder how long the flight time will like the actual flight time will be. Because see, it says 25 minutes. I also like if you press the battery thing, it tells you how many minutes until returned home, until forced landing. So got like 23 minutes left. And yeah, I'm in the forest and no signal interruption, which is really good. It's very fast. Oh man, I'm not even in sport mode. Wow, this is one fast drone. Again, I'm not even in sport mode. And I'm going 36, 35 kilometers an hour. Let's actually switch to sport mode. I wonder... Don't want to go over the lake. Well, let's... Yeah, I know I'm like... Don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Wow, it is very fast. I'm gonna have to play with the controls a bit and see actually oh, if I can make, because the controls right now in sport mode, uh, this is why I like using sport mode. I'm gonna switch it back to normal. I like using sport mode because the controls are very similar, like the response and the speed and everything else is very similar to a regular mode on the Mavic 2. I'm trying not to fly too far 
uh, off the property because again first of all there is a dampener somewhere in these parts so uh, let's see the video qu transmission quality is just great that's all I gotta say it's a fantastic little drone I've been flying for, what, four minutes? And I'm down to only 82%. Let's go look at the boat. I have a boat right here. And this is actually in windless weather. So there is no wind right here where I'm flying. But it's, the bad thing is, I'm flying on a iPhone 11 Pro and my screen is very tiny. Right here is actually like, I can do the compass thing, the map, and let's see, nope. How do I, oh, that's how I switch it. You have to swipe finger from left to right and that's how you switch it. So it shows me the direction of the drone. Wait, what if I do this? No, no. How do I reset north? No, nope, still didn't reset. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so I like filming this boat. Let's see. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to play with the controls. And you actually want to uh, take, for example, because I don't like quick shot modes. So you want to take like a moment, play with the controls, see how fast they respond. Oh, let's do Cine. Oh, Cine is smoother. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into the menu and reset the controls. So you see, I want to make sure there are no trees here because I'm going to be flying around the boat. So right now I'm in Cine mode. Oh, it's so smooth. Still a little bit too fast. Oh, this is beautiful. I hope you're not getting motion sickness. Because I'm not going to edit this video just because, again, I'm screen recording. And we're figuring, on, figuring out some things, including, actually, including the total flight time under regular conditions switch it back to normal as i said in the previous video this little button oh 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 i forgot to test the zoom function because again recording in 4k where's the boat let's do the zoom so i hit put the function uh, press and hold the function button and look at that two times zoom uh, again the only drawback of this zoom again press and hold and pull out of the zoom press and hold pull back in the only drawback of this zoom is its location because Sometimes you want to move the gimbal up and down as you're zooming in or zooming out. And because it's one wheel for both of those functions, that's a huge drawback. Uh, I don't want to fly over water just in case. Okay, so we've been flying for eight minutes. Eight minutes. And 
we're down to 66% battery. Okay, so I'm gonna fly back to me right now. Where am I? I love flying FPV. I can hear it. It kind of lost me. And you can actually zoom in here. There you go. I'm like right there. And you have to remember no sensors of any kind, collision sensors. Where is it? It's difficult navigating the trees. I... Now I see it. It's right above me. Man, this thing is very tiny. Okay, so how do you bring the gimbal back up? Function, down. Oh, there it is. Function, back up. Yeah, you're gonna be motion sick with me. Okay, let's turn around and fly back toward me. There I am. See, it doesn't stop turning. So right now I'm gonna set the yaw and everything else. So let's go into the menu. Turns the control. Uh, camera. Was it in the camera? About. I huh? <laughs> already forgot. Ah, uh, here it is. So right now we're in normal mode. Pitch speed. So, pitch speed I actually want to be faster. Oh, I wonder if I set it to 100. Wow, that is fast. That will make you sick. So, let's make it like 40. Pitch smoothness. It's very smooth. What if I do zero? Uh, let's do it like 15. Yaw speed. So is yaw the rotation? Oh, so yaw speed. Let's make it 50. And yaw smoothness, let's make it 20. Oh, 
Hold on. What if... Wow, it just keeps rotating. What if it's one? Wow, that's what... <laughs> no, so let's make yes. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Okay, cine mode, pitch speed. Let's switch it to cine. So pitch speed is 10. Pitch smoothness, actually, let's make it 20. Yaw speed, let's make it 20. Yeah, and yaw smoothness, let's make it 50. So see how it still keeps on going? Now, in, oh, why did I do that? In sport mode, switch it to sport. So pitch speed, I want 60, because you want fast response. Pitch smoothness, let's do 10. Yaw speed, let's do 150. Wow, yeah, that will work. And yaw smoothness is zero, it's like a B. Good, all set. And look, we've been flying for 15 minutes, and I still have about 10 minutes of battery remaining, and I was. Uh, actually, I need to make yaw speed a little bit faster in normal mode. I'm not used to be being that slow, so let's make it a hundred. But I'm probably gonna fly it mostly in sport mode, so it's gonna be like. Mm. Again, uh, I'm used to flying large drones, so this one will be... Yeah, sport mode is excellent on this. Normal mode... Well, I just almost crashed the drone. I kid you not. Nope, I want it leveled. I almost flew into this pine tree right here, this branch. This drone is fantastic. I just wish the software was better. So th if the firmware would be better, uh, there would be no problem with the drone. Yeah, that's me in all persona. So, 33% left. Should I fly down to zero? Oh, I want to play with LED lights. Hold on. I'm going to figure this out. Okay, so. LED lights. And we go into... Is it safety? Camera, control, yeah, it's control. So, solid. And, is it even on? It's not, how do I turn it on? I don't know how to turn it on, honestly. Uh, okay, phone charging. Oh, turn that on. Hold on, double tap. Gimbal follow. Actually, let's do 
Advanced. <laughs> I can do this like 0.9. That would be insane. Let's just leave it at 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0.40, done. And you have to hit done, otherwise it's not gonna register. Oh, it doesn't even register like that. There we go, point four. So that's set. Okay, somebody tell me what I do with the lights. Rainbow. Is it under safety? beeping at me okay let's land it 20 percent and we've been flying for 20 minutes so kind of like my other drone oh i'm gonna catch it i haven't done that in a while so to catch it you just landed. put your hand under it and stick down and you're good to go so now, how do I stop the video with one hand? Oh, I just pressed that button right there. Boom, stopped. Okay. Uh, now for final thoughts. Actually, let me turn off the drone and turn off the remote. Okay, drone is off. Remote is off. And video is off. Okay, so final thoughts after the first flight. Uh, the Mavic Mini. First, uh, the guy who sold it to me lied to me. Because he said he only had two flights. He had 26 flights. So that kind of pisses me off. Second, he crashed the drone several times. Because uh, I can see it by the damage on the shell. And I can also, uh, the LED light on the front of the drone does not work. Third, uh, Mini 2 is a really interesting drone. As long as you tweak it quite a bit. But I still don't like DJI fly up. But the range on Mini 2, that just kills. Uh, like hands down kills the Mini 1. If you trying to decide between Mini 1 or Mini 2, Mini 2. I had like five, four or five Mini 1s, uh, definitely hands down Mini 2. So for the money, it's a really good drone. It's a really good beginner drone. Um, I really wish DJI would make proper software for it, proper, well, proper firmware for it. So it, it would be, it could actually be on the par, it could be like, something intermediary between beginner drone and a pro drone because it has a nice camera it doesn't have a really large sensor uh, but the camera is nice the camera is really nice and the way it flies i mean you feel it you feel the drone moving really to your controls so if you tweak it if you don't mind the dji fly app it's a pretty good drone so thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. See you guys later.